Hello YouTube, back at it again with another video. You know how it goes. So, you know, I think I'm a great rapper. No, I'm just kidding. Um, as you see, this is my first podcast. I'm giving this a test run. Today's topics is gonna be about top five anything. Whatever your top five is, like Mount Rushmore, there's just a number one, or there's just another one added to it. But with that being said, we got the mics, you know, this is a nice setup. With that being said, let me introduce y'all to two other guests. It's your boy, OD for Shy, you know, big shy in the building, man. You know what time it is, man. This podcast is about to be lit. Make sure you tune in, make sure you like, share, subscribe, man. And we're going to get straight to it, man. Yo, what up? It's your boy, Hank. Welcome to my boy's podcast. Hope you enjoy. To you two. With that being said, let's start off with these nice topics. I'm gonna start them off and then they'll they'll jump off of that. So, first topic I have is we're gonna talk about superheroes, right? And I know we just seen Ant Man yesterday, that Quantumania movie. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, I feel like hard. they could have kept some of the characters alive and not killed every character. But that King the Conqueror, he's gonna be something else. With that being said, I'm sorry if I keep looking that way. It's not like someone's messing with me, it's just some geeses out there, you know? I don't know about y'all, but I love wildlife. But if I kick one of them geeses, y'all don't see me in this video, that's the reason why. All right, with that being said though, what is y'all top five Marvel or DC superheroes? Or you could do villains, mm -hmm. right? With that being said, I'm gonna start off with mine, right? My top five is not in any particular order. We have Iron Man, we have Green Lantern, we have Spider-Man, we have, what was the other one? For some reason, for me, I just like Baby Groot. Yo, fuck! <laughs> I just like Baby Groot. Fucking I'm just saying. So, I know out of everything that's random, yes, that's four. And then number five's gotta be Deadpool. Because mm -hmm. DC, I don't really have too many, like, really like characters except for Green Lantern because I just like how he uses his imagination like I, you know, like me. But, anyways, what y'all gonna say? I'll let you go. Jackass. Alright. My top five might have to be The Flash, mm. uh, Batman, <laughs> Ant-Man, oh, keep it up, <laughs> let's see, I uh, will, also, what's that, um, I want to know his name, uh, I'll be on here, shit, I can't remember his name, um, uh, oh, fuck it, I'll come back to that, Loki, definitely, Fucking love Loki and uh, Heimdall. Mmm. Who? Heimdall. Heimdall. Heimdall's fire. Yeah. He could do everything. The mind. Mm. The mind. Who the hell you thinking Shut of? Shut the hell up. But anyway. DC. That's DC or Marvel. Heimdall's Marvel. Dude, the guy who's it's in the Thor movie. Oh, the man that does the uh, with the big ass sword. Oh, he lets Idris Elba. Elba. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, people in there. My top five, you know, I got Casanova in the background, you know, shout out Brooklyn. But <laughs> definitely gonna have that Batman out there. What's what's his name for that movie with the wings, remember? The Batman? villain? Nah. Vulture? Nah. We, the movie we watched. The dude with the wings. Yeah, he could fly. Your villain. Well he was a hero, then he turned to villain. Who are you talking about? Anyway, Batman, Flash, definitely putting in their Iron Man, definitely putting my Iron Man out there. Mmm, Loki is fire. Loki is definitely fire, especially we all know I'm not going to spoil Ant Man, but hey, I'm about to put Ant Man and Loki in there. That's my top five. But I, it's a movie that came out and it had somebody, I forgot his name. He a villain, but I will talk about that later. I mean, if you th if you think about it, you talking about it, you're not saying Vulture because Vulture's never a hero. Yeah. What movie are you talking about? Remember the movie? Is it and Morbius? Then at the end, it was uh, Morbius. Morbius, yeah, Morbius. The vampire? You yeah. gonna just sit the vampire? Yeah. <laughs> He's he gonna top just sit the vampire. Give my top five. Morbius. Morbius. Mm -hmm. The only thing I have to say for Morbius, it was not a bad movie. It's just, I, like it. <clears throat> I don't know. 
Like, they're gonna build him up, hopefully. But to say top five, nah, that's like a, a year or anti hero that's like off the side. But he's going what? What? off to the side. Oh, not to me, off. according to me, what? he's off to the side, honestly. Oh, hell no. Nah. Like, who's your main nah. characters? You know, it's Iron Man. You know, everyone loves Spider Man. You know, everyone loves Batman, even though I don't like him. I don't, I'm not what? gonna say that. I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't like him. I think he's a great hero, but I think everyone overrates him. Batman? Batman yeah. is not. His movies How are, is Batman overrated? His movies are too long, first of all. No, it was just that one movie that was too damn long. And it fucking sucked. <laughs> Wait, question. How did Batman movie suck? Not all, it's just that one that they made fucking four hours long that sucked. Talking about the new one? Yes! No. I think it was pretty good because he was actually being a detective in the movie. Yeah. Like he's supposed to be because Batman is playing. a detective. Mm -hmm. He was a detective in a Christian, uh, uh, when Christian Bale played Batman, he was a Yeah, but it was, it was more detective work in that movie, like the newer one. So I think they, they did a good job with it. Yeah. yeah, but also Batman's supposed to like disappear. He didn't disappear at well, all. Just, movie. He just walked out of the fucking shadow. This was his early years though. So he's early still, years? Yeah, so he's still getting used to like, being a Batman. <laughs> it's his, he's only in his year two of being Batman. He was trained to be a ninja. He should already know how to fucking disappear without. Nah. Nah. I don't know. I do But a little side note, right? If you hear other voices that's not these us three, it's because it's other people that's behind us that they get to chime in. So one of them is Henderson. And then we also have pizza on the side. So if they get a little hungry, you know. But, Hey, they got to create the pizza, you know, so. Fire pizza. At that. Well, with that being said, yes, I do believe that Batman is overrated. Just like they overrate Superman. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm nah. not saying nah. that they are garbage. I'm just saying that I think people overrate them. Like, every time a Superman movie comes out, everyone goes, oh my goodness. And then they get disappointed if it's not the best one. Like. This last Batman, I'm not saying it was garbage. It was almost three hours long, though. It was garbage. And it was like times that, yes, he was a detective, but it was like, like, we want, we want a better Like Out of all the Batmans, everyone liked, what was his name? Ben Affleck one. Mm. Really? They liked him? It was so much action in that one, that's why. So, I think people more prefer more action. than the other But Batman. I see, yes, he is he, a detective. He was so, he was so nice. It was so nice. Then remember at the end of the movie when uh, he didn't want to kill. Uh, no, wait, who was what's that? I don't know. They was on the uh, like the construction site, looking out. He was like affirming his affirming his love and shit like that. What the hell movie are you talking about? I'm talking about Batman. Which one? You know the I mean? most the newest one. Are you talking about that scene when it was with Catwoman? Yeah. Ah. Uh. I gotta tell you, they could have done better on that. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna ask y'all this. Did y'all watch the new Flash uh, movie trailer? Because that movie. Yes! That movie was about to be. That movie about to be a hit. I ain't gonna lie. I can't believe they brought back uh, fucking Mount Keaton as Batman. I, I like that. Mm, that's what I was trying to think of. It's the one Batman that I'm thinking of that like, everyone likes. And it's like, it's not the other Batman, the Robert Pattinson one. So. I didn't watch the trailer. Uh, Keen's back. It's, he like one of the best Batman. Yeah, once you see the trailer, you're gonna be like, they got Supergirl, they got Superman. And they got two fucking flashes, which I do not understand why they do that. No, I think the one of them, I don't think is a flash. I think he's just like, you stole my face, and you stole my face. So, I mean, I think it's a good trailer. Yeah. But, with that being said, y'all have anything else to add to that? No. Uh, no. They're not overrated. Point blank, period. I don't know what he's talking about, but he's talking some nonsense. Yeah. Maybe he had too much pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think because y'all can agree with them or y'all can agree with me. But y'all can't sit there and tell me every Batman movie everyone goes to like it, but then they go, we expect it more. Like you always know, there's always a meme on Batman and stuff. I just think they overhype it. I'm gonna just say this: they overhype a movie. But with that being said, y'all play basketball or y'all watch basketball? Nope. So then I can't ask that question. Basketball. I know the I know one one of these y'all can know. Right. We can't talk about it if one of the other guests don't. 
don't really know too much. But top five oh, that's Super Bowl. Top five. <laughs> How about them Eagles? <laughs> They still flying? I didn't see the eagle in a minute. I don't know y'all went. I don't see no I didn't see an eagle in a minute. What happened? I see the cheese. <laughs> anyway, it's hey, about, still about the football. No, no puns on the football. Oh wait, my bad. Anyways, oh. Um, so, top five cereal. For mm. me, I'm gonna go. Ooh, ooh, this is gonna be a good topic. Alrighty, let's go. Top five cereal. I'm gonna say cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. Reese, Reese's puffs for me. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Mm, Top mm, mm. For me, yes. What, what's the third one? Captain Crunch. I'll give it to them on that one. Right. I'm going to go with Mini Wheats for me. Oh my God. What the hell? Give me your mic. <laughs> what the hell? Are we 60? If we was in a retirement home, yeah, Mini Wheats would be up there. Hell no. Come on, son. Come on now. Come on, it's, it's nice Kelly vibes, you know? At least it's, it's nice and healthy, you know? Anyway, number five. Oh, what's number five? Why don't you say raisin bran to keep up with money No, no, no. I, I would never eat anything with raisins in it. I'll eat raisins by itself, but not like cereal wise. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to think. So I'm gonna just throw one out there for now. Just gonna say, you know, what to say the Oreos? The Oreo? Oh. The fuck? How you go from healthy to Oreos? I didn't even heard that cereal. What the fuck? You went that Oreo? What the hell? Get him out of here! Get him out of here! We need a hospital close because he don't know what he wants. He want to be healthy or overweight. <laughs> but number one, Cheerios. What? Cheerios is what? The number one. Cheerios. What? Honey nut Cheerios. You can get the okay. regular Cheerios, you know, if you if you okay, put hood, you put a little sugar in that bowl, you don't need no no honey. Put that sugar in the bowl, mix that thing up, or you be scraping the bowl for that sugar. <laughs> so what does that mean? Uh, Nobody eating no Cheerios. Cheerios, okay. C cinnamon toast, definitely made it. Uh, apple jacks. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm. I mean, I see the commercial. They be alright. The apple jacks. What else? What else? What else? Cereals up there. Uh, Lucky Charms? Lucky Charms? Frosted Flakes? You're just talking about some mini wheats. Well, you know, the flavor, you know, mini wheats don't have just the original. They got the blueberry, strawberry, the little chocolate, cinnamon ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talking about those too. Nah, we don't be eating scarecrows out here. <laughs> look, you eating yarn from outside. What the hell? What the hell we look like eating that damn thing? Hey, I, I didn't say it was y'all's top five, I just said it was my top five. That should be anybody's like, top five. Just like, just like you talking about Cheerios, ain't nobody ever putting Cheerios on their thing. That's Satan's you, top five. Unless you ain't old as hell and you eating them. I'm sorry, to the elders. Because I know my elders eat that, but ain't nobody eating that. Like my sister, she's not going to eat that. She gonna, you going to give her a bowl of Cheerios? She going to... And you ain't got no other cereal than this? She ain't eating that. Come on now. What, what would you say, huh? What you going to say, Hank? Uh, for my job, I was gonna be Fruity Pebbles. Mm. Oh, no. I, I, uh, I was thinking uh, about that too. Uh, Lucky Charms, Captain Crunch, the uh, the berry ones. I, I mm. like that one. Just the berries or what the actual other things? Uh, what the actual cereal? Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Apple Jacks, yes. We get love Apple Jacks. And uh, for my own fifth one, Mmm. Yeah, I forgot, but uh, I'm not chill at the bottom. Ooh. I feel like I'm not chill. At least you put it in his top five. He's not a crazy man. So you tell me Cinnamon Toast Crunch isn't your favorite, though? Cinnamon Toast Crunch is in my top five. Okay. Like, I think majority of today's generation, they will put Cinnamon Toast Crunch as top five. Mm -hmm. And Frosted Flakes. I don't know about Frosted Flakes. It's a good battle to want to find out what that is, you know, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. We're not going to get too much into cereals, because now we're going to do top five least favorite cereal, right? A least favorite cereal. Yeah, Cheerios. Cheerios, you love Cheerios. Cheerios. Now I'm just not. Mike about to get a dance, bro. Look, look. I know it's always such a controversy, but I don't like just regular Cheerios. I'll eat the other Cheerios, yes. But just regular plain Cheerios? 
what I look like. I'm on a heart uh, cholesterol level. <laughs> watch for my cholesterol. I ain't doing that. Anyway, you know. I'm young. <laughs> I can't. I can watch it when I get old, and they tell me your sugar diabetes is a little too high, sir. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> another one is cornflakes. Mm. Okay. Then. No one likes cornflakes. I'm sorry. Yeah. A third one for me is pops. Mm. Like my dad, oh, my. he used to. He now hold on, just a damn second. I'm fucking like that. <laughs> my dad used to like that cereal, but like rest in peace to him. But I don't. I didn't really like pops. I don't know, it, to me it wasn't, Ooh. it wasn't extravagant. Okay, I'm about to throw a hairbrush at you. Fourth one, mm, you know, it's gonna make a lot of y'all mad, but uh, Rice Krispies. Oh, okay, now nah, nah, you want to, I'm about to throw this damn iron at you. Yeah. I'm not saying Cocoa Krispies or anything else, but I'm saying Rice Krispies, just the plain ones. Like, I see people eat that, and I'm like, how? That has a little bit of sugar. He eats many weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I really can't think of the fifth one at the moment. I mean, maybe one of the, the bottom five is one of y'all, like, all them cereals that y'all can't think of any other cereal brands. So y'all just go Dunkin' Donuts, Wendy's Frosties, this and that other cereals. Like, that just be my bottom five. Cause I feel like y'all don't make that all good. But what's y'all's bottom five? Y'all want to give me heat. Let's see y'all heat. I know y'all go put mini wheats in there. Hell yeah, no, we got down zero. <laughs> we, need, we start from zero because that shit is... <laughs> It's not it. You you give me death middle mini weeks on my deathbed. I'm pulling my own plug. Oh, <laughs> get that away from me, man. They're trying to murder me. But yeah, mini weeks definitely number one worst. I don't know who made it. They need to go to prison. But after that, I don't know. Cereal is like most most cereals are mid. And it's like, what are you feeling? Because they got like Cocoa Puffs and Lucky Charms, all that stuff. I feel like those are feeling cereals, you know? But Cheerios is just, you know, you got Cheerios when you wake up from a nap and it's 12 o'clock at night. I'm busting out them Cheerios. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna bust out cereal, but I'm not busting them Cheerios. Many weeks is the only bad cereal. Everything else is mid. Mm -hmm. So you gonna eat cornflakes over over mini wheat? Yeah, I put a little sugar in them cornflakes, turn them into frosted flakes. What you talking about? <laughs> you gonna tell me you gonna eat rice krispies over goddamn mini wheat? Yes, yes, hell yes. All you need is a little bit of sugar in that rice krispies. You can't put sugar in mini wheats. No, you there can't. it is. If they get the flavored one. If sugar is not gonna help it, it's it's not meant to be on earth. What is it meant to do? You gonna put salt and pepper in it? Oh, that's just nasty. <laughs> With the milk, you go. <laughs> what about you, Henderson, man? What's the worst cereal? The worst cereal? Goddamn raisin nut brown. Mm, raisin brown. Oh, yeah. oh hell no. Now you gonna make me wanna come with behind that camera and choke you back. <laughs> that shit is terrible. I don't that's know how anyone can eat it. I ain't no, like that cereal. It's plain, look. If you take out the raisins, you gonna eat the raisin br the brown. The brown looking cereal? That's worse than mini wheats. And y'all wanna talk about me and my mini wheats? <laughs> you just said raisin I'm just salty. Is bland. <laughs> it is. But mini wheats is not that bad to me. <laughs> it's got flavor somehow. And it's it more like filling. Y'all talk about other cereals that be filling. I could eat two, three bowls of Lucky Charms or something. But one bowl of mini wheats, I can feel the me getting food. Because that's how much grains and that's how much filling they put in it. Calcium, whatever they put in it, it is nice for you. But with that being said, Henderson, what's your favorite cereal? What's my favorite cereal? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mm. Okay. See, it's always gonna be someone's top five, you know? Now, we done with cereal, because y'all keep planning on me and my mini weeds. But y'all ain't here planning on cornflakes. Y'all ain't planning on raisin bran. Take the goddamn raisin out. <laughs> this should look nasty as hell. <laughs> oh, but if I was to say I like Honey Oats bunches, y'all gonna be. That's not even a good cereal. That got a bunch of nuts in it. Oh, God, you like that cereal? That I enjoy it. Okay. Especially you put okay. some almond milk in that thing. I put Ooh. walk on them almond milk. <laughs> Come on now. Mm. Almond milk, you get the, you get the almond uh, original flavor or you get the mm. vanilla flavor. Ooh. Vanilla. Mm. Now you're making me hungry for some cereal. Can we please change the subject now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. When do y'all ask us uh, top five anything? I gave y'all two... Um, 
right. Two examples. Anyone who would go first? You say your top five, and then you answer it, and then we'll answer it. I got one. Uh, top five amusement parks. Mm. I've been to a lot of those, but I could still look at them and go, damn, this is the place I want to go to. Mm. Depending on where you're from, too. Yeah. Yeah. Up north got more water parks than down south. Yeah. Me? I'm from New York, so I'll, I'm going with the, you know, the Great Adventures is always a go-to. You got the Zoom Flume Water Park. Water parks, I always put number. I'm going to have top five water parks. I don't go with the, oh, nah, I'm not with the roller coasters. So you can roll somewhere else. <laughs> Coast over there. We're going to roller coasters, man. They're fun. Fun? Seeing death? <laughs> we we'll out there being like, man. Going to the ground, the 50 miles per hour, that's fun. Okay, it is a bit terrifying, but get your heart rate up, man. I jump out of a plane with a parachute. You see how they give you a parachute for safety? What they give yeah. you? A seat belt <laughs> so you can hold on when you're screaming. You have more safety. Okay. More safety on the roller coaster than skydiving? I mean, yeah, they don't also have those uh, things that, you know, go over you and lock you in place. You of course, sometimes you see the video when they them. slip through them. You gotta be a bony motherfucker to slip through that shit. Uh, roller coasters, they give you do multiple stuff. You roller coaster, next thing you know, you just skydive. <laughs> you don't, I want to do one thing. <laughs> All right. You know, sometimes cameras die, right? But we were still talking about the subject a little bit, right? But let me go off with mine. You don't like roller coasters, you little scared boy. <laughs> no, anyways, anyways. Um, Right. I'm surprised you didn't like it was your top five. You didn't like have a top five for your thing? No, I do. Uh from New Park it's gonna be uh first one would have to be uh Six Flags because I don't know why, it's just I've been to that New Park so many times. It's like number one for me. I think Six Flags is the most visited place, like if you're anywhere else. Like if you're from Cali, and it's crazy because I'm gonna say this, and y'all about to be like you never been to Disneyland, not one time. And aren't you from K uh, Cali? Yes, but that doesn't say my family is rich to go and provide one. I can go to one now, cause I have the money, but I don't know, like Disneyland, I don't even go for like the Star Wars maybe, the Marvel stuff, so, but you continue on though, I'm just saying. Ah, uh, see, you number two have to be, uh, Oh shit. I think Six Flags is the only music park that I actually ever been to. I've never been to Disneyland or any other amusement park. How you gonna how you gonna take a how you gonna say party? the topic and you only got one experience? No, I just now realized that I've only been to one amusement park in my entire life. My you parents go, You gotta go to more amusement parks, man. Uh, my top five, right? Some of these I've been to, some of these I haven't, right? Some of these I would like to explore. I'm gonna say number one is Universal Studios. If y'all give me heat, I'm gonna slam. But Universal Studios is number one for me. Then I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Disneyland because I still wanna explore it. But I don't know if I wanna go to Disneyland or Disney World. The only thing I hate about Florida is that y'all tend to compete with us Californians. So I'm just saying. I definitely wanna try that though. I wanna explore Legoland, but I feel like that's too much of a kid thing. I feel like Legoland is a little too much of a kid. I would say number four is gonna be, I have been here though, Six Flags. I've been to the one in Georgia, and I've been to the one in Cali. Um, and then last one I would say that I want to still try is not to bury So Majority of them have roller coasters though, and I'm not afraid of it, I just have to build up to it. So. Stay tuned, he will be taking y'all to goddamn a roller coaster park, and he will be on it. I'll record for me because I'm not going on there. I'll be just like this. You should go on there too. And when he go all the way up, we'll be recording his ass all the way down. <laughs> That's right, because I'm going to be in that nice adrenaline run. Look, some, look, everyone gets all scared about roller coasters in this night. I've been seeing videos lately of. Nah! But guess what? If people cannot tell, hey, sir, my, my strap on my thing or my seatbelt or the little latch to lock you in is not really secure. Right, and they actually press the button. They go, everyone is secure, and they go, I can't move. Or you're next to a partner that goes, I'm secure, but you go, yeah, I don't know about you, but my thing on the two loose. 
<laughs> you might want to tell somebody that, so because I'm not, if you know you're about to die, I wouldn't want to do this, because I get it, it's fun to like put your hands in the air and all that, right? But for me, if you know your thing's a little loose, either they're going to fix it in time, which is not going to happen in time, because by the time they go, have fun guys, three, two, click, <laughs> and you're off, you better hold on to that damn thing. And you just better hope you better survive it, too, while you're at it. You better be on to that little uh, thing, and they'll be like, that person survived, but I know what to do because all y'all do this, and as soon as that shit flies off, you oh, and yeah, you're gone. Done. Done. So y'all need to like. That's why I always brace on, regardless if it's secured or not. Yes, it's fun and adrenaline gets going and all, but it's also for safety. Because if I go flying off that thing, I'm still holding on to the bars. Now this time I'm gonna be holding on to the bars two times harder because my life is on the line now. So. I'm not afraid of roller coasters. I was when I was a little kid. That I wanna like bullshit. All right, I was afraid when I was a little kid. But now, more grown. Yeah. This here for me, Jones. Yeah, I'm, so I'm afraid of roller coasters. I don't well, do roller coasters. Subjects? I do water parks, like uh, Six Flags. I do go Six Flags, Zoom Flum, Wild Adventures. Any water park, I'm I'm gone. I got my trunks right under these pants. Best believe. I'll whip these pants off like I'm Superman. You mean like a stripper? Cause that's what strippers do. <laughs> hey man, this mic gonna have a lot of dents to it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I'm wearing pants strippers, man. What's your, uh, name your top five, you know. Whatever subject you want to think about, but you want to ask us if we know it though first before you think of it. If you don't have one, I'll just continue it on for you. I had one in my head, I forgot. All right, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna, we we will get back to you. For me, we're gonna do Hollywood style. Gives you a hint for WrestleMania Hollywood, right? Mm. Now, when I say this. I'm gonna assume y'all watch wrestling, but y'all probably watch it when y'all were little kids, right? Mm hmm Yeah, y'all don't y'all don't watch it today, so that's why I'm not gonna get you But y'all stay tuned for that in May. Just like y'all stay tuned for the uh, big reptile expo in Salt Lake City I'm gonna be going to. So anyways, with that being said though, we go in Hollywood style on this and we're gonna name actors and actresses your top five. Mm -hmm. Or if you hate a lot of Hollywood stars, you could say at least number five is this, this, and this, all right? But my top five is this. If y'all give me heat, I'm going to give y'all heat right back. So, number one, Dwayne Johnson. Woo! That's a good one. That's number two, one. Zendaya. All right, that's, that's a good one. Number three, he is coming up, and I think he's going to make decent movies in the future. I think Tom Holland is going to be a good one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Number four. Now this is back then because you know I'm half white, half black, so I do like my black actors and all. I will give it to Denzel Washington mm, because he definitely has a lot of good movies. And, this yeah. and, and number five is oh, it's so tough to be honest to say just the top five. Like honestly, if I could, I'm gonna replace Tom Holland and go with Will Smith. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, oh no. <laughs> Anyways, right. That's four, five. I'm gonna have to go with. I don't know why, but I think every time he's in a movie, he makes it funny, and he always has the famous word of, you know. Once I say the character, y'all y'all think of the bad word that I'm thinking of, right? Samuel L. Jackson. Ooh. Um, Sam that's my top five. Mm. That I could think of right now, but mm. automatically them top two is Dwayne and uh, Zendaya. So Samuel Jackson or Morgan Freeman? Oh, that's tough to see. That's why that's, that's what said it's tough. The Morgan mm. Freeman has really good movies too, yeah, and he really plays his roles right mm -hmm. too. But Samuel plays action, but he also like he's like one of those I don't care. Like I love I loved his uh, Shaft movie. Yes, it was like there because I know nowadays movies if you take them from back then. And you try to make them, you know, of today's generation, you know the difference. But Samuel L. Jackson, he believes in equal opportunity anything. So you don't care if you're a male or female, you'll catch an equal opportunity at all. Anyway, so, 
But I'm, I'm still gonna say Samuel. But Liv Morgan is up there though too. It's tough. Like it's tough to just sit there and go. The moon is not good. No, he is up there. Yeah. And there's a lot. Of, I know there's a lot of movie stars out there that's about to get up there. So what do y'all say? I, I, I'm glad I didn't get no heat though. You know. Number one. Angelina Jolie. Don't forget. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I was thinking Tomb Raider. When, Tomb Raider. When I was a kid and Mr. and Mrs. Smith came out, I wanted to get I wanted to get married on sight. And then it made no sense because they were trying to kill each other. <laughs> Chris Rock. Chris Rock has to be honorable med mention, you know, he he paved the way. Mm-hmm. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I can't do the eyebrow with my hat, but <laughs> you, you saw it. Yeah, <laughs> you tried. Who else? I'm trying. See, Zendaya's a good. It's she's tough. A good like, there's a lot of good stars out there. That's yeah, the thing. She's a good actress, but. No, when I become a when I become a star, I better hear people put Lamont like, Williams top of my five star. Not anyway. I'm like hell no. He keep mini ones. <laughs> Got his ass on. <laughs> Anyway, first scene, you're gonna be like this. Mmm. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody else, I don't know. That's dope, just my favorite three, man. I don't, I don't even know if I can do I mean, five. sometimes you don't have a top five because every th everyone else is like, it's like basketball right now in the West. It's like, you're good, you're good, you're good, but it's like, I can't really decipher. What's his name? Who's better than other? Is it Marlon Wayne Marlon? from Scary Movie? Yeah. Marlon Wayne. Yo, definitely put him out there. I like funny actors, like comedian slash actor type people. Mm -hmm. I mess with that. Uh, so you probably like Martin Lawrence then? Yeah, Martin Lawrence, the Bernie Max. I love all of them. Oh, Bernie Max show? I yeah, man. I love that show. Love quick, the show. Quick, quick little story on Bernie Curtis, Mac. Curtis uh, from, what's that? Yeah, quick story on Bernie Mac. So we went to Walmart yesterday. And, like there's a little kid in there screaming and this and that and they're going, I want this, I want this. And like I just I can always keep picturing the Bernie Mac show when he did that little when he told his little girl, now you put that cereal back. No, I'm not doing. Get over here. <laughs> Elbow drop. Yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. When that little kid kept screaming. That's it. Oh, shut up, little thing. And she got like three or four kids. I said, oh. But hey, this is me. Man. No, what, what you say, Hank? What you got? Uh, for my top five, first one, definitely gotta be The Rock. Mm -hmm. Fucking love that guy. <clears throat> Making so many fun good movies. Uh, and he's a great wrestler, too. He better be yeah. WrestleMania, too. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, number two, gotta be Kevin Hart. Mm. Fucking love Kevin Hart. Mm -hmm. yeah, he makes me laugh every he's, he's funny for a short dude. He's funny. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, I. Kevin Hart, if you're watching this, it was going him. Kick his ankles, I'm lying. <laughs> you said, 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 you Celebrity crush right there, so gotta add her. Okay, look, 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 look. We about to cut this camera. You know why we about to cut this camera? I'm about to jump everybody who he talks about. So there's my crush. No, it's one person. It's one person. If it's not Tom Holland, it's me. All y'all gonna get jumped if y'all talk about Sunday is your crush. There's a lot of y'all that's been talking that I go in the military and they go, Sunday is my crush. I know you lying, and I'm about to be over there. Now if y'all go, Jenna take is better than that. Okay. I'm not mad at you, because you said Jenna Ortega, and you want to say she's better, she's better than But, I still have yet to see Wednesday, the, the TV series on Netflix, I've heard is really good, and a lot of people watched it, So and she played her her role good, but I think she she does good in scary movies, because there's a new one coming on the screen, huh? Scott Jackson. Be in more movies, Scott. You over here on Instagram, and... I ain't gonna curse. Be an actress. <laughs> All right, but you was at what? You was at three or four, my bad. My bad. Four. Four. I said today. For the fifth one, I'm gonna put uh, 
Robert Downey Jr. Mm. He's in some good movies. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite a few. I love the movie he played in as uh, Dr. Doolittle. Uh, some people didn't really like the movie, but I, I kind of did. I mean, it wasn't bad. You know, I think Eddie Murphy, I think, is the better mm. of the new little one. Eddie Murphy. Because um, Eddie Murphy's had his role. I just seen his last movie not too long ago, You People. I know it's, it's crazy how I said the title, but it's legit the movie title. And he didn't do bad, but it's crazy because I could relate to that whole story and be like, whites don't ever give it blacks. But then you look at me and you go, well, they made it happen. <laughs> so, Great movie. yeah, it Great is a good movie. Though. 10 out of 10. So, I don't know, 10 out of 10. It's a great movie. Whoever uh, the white dude married, keep doing your thing. <laughs> and then just like Will Smith, hey look, I love his movies. I just think you need to get rid of Jada. Oh, Ooh, I, I felt hey, the wind from my face. You got to slap all of us. <laughs> look, look. I get it, right? I get it. I know you love her. I get the whole, like, he loves her and all that. But you can't sit there and tell me when we've always talked about stuff, right? That she puts him through tough times and has done stuff. Like, he's never done nothing to her. He's always supported her. Like, when he slapped Chris Rock, he supported her. But let's say the roles were reversed. And Chris Rock went to clan on Will Smith, right? Would Jada have went up there and said something? Or would she have just been, hee hee ha ha ha, laugh laugh? And Will Smith would have been just sat there a fool, looking like a fool, right? That's the questions y'all gotta sit there and think of. Is yes, y'all could sit there and, you know, if I do get hit, whatever. I'll get hit down the road if I ever get seen. But, you know, it's the whole, you know, like y'all gotta think of the opposite roles too. Like, if y'all had a girlfriend and y'all would back your girlfriend up, would your girlfriend back y'all up? I hope so. I'm just saying, because Jada movies and TV series, they don't really seem to get to me. So, I just think Will Smith has a better movie. And TV show, like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, mm, yeah. no one's ever beating that. And they talk about they're doing a remake, or they did a remake already, because second season about to come out in this month or so. It's not bad, but I think Will Smith, when he originally did it, he made it, he topped it off. Hi, Robot. I love that one. That's so, but if y'all have any other subjects, if not, I have maybe one more if y'all can't think of it. Y'all have one more? Top five anything? You got one, Henderson? Do I got any suggestions? Uh, top eight. Suggestion. Top, top five, five what? Top five. Uh, top five movies. Mm. I was just looking at that list, too. That's a hard one. That well, you got to say yours. Say mine. Uh, so well, at least start us off, you know. I would go with Terminator Two: Judgment Day. That's a good movie. Um, I mean, if you if it helps you, you could just say the the series, and then they could be like, ah, oh, the Terminators. No, but there's a few of them that are good. I like the second one the most. Um, I would say Spider-Man Two. Mm. All the Spider-Man movies. Spider-Man movies? Yeah, Tobey Maguire. Spider-Man movies, they're gonna be my top five. Yeah, that's my I like Man of Steel. To me, that was the best Superman movie. I like Man of Steel Society. It's a good movie. Classic. Classic. Let me see what else. And I gotta say, um, I'm going with bad boys. Mm. Can't go wrong with Martin. Can't go wrong. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, I'm gonna let y'all start y'all top five. Cause Tom, but honestly, I gotta write my down. You know, I don't really know mine. I mean, I know mine, but it's too much. It's too much. Man, you got it. Top five movies, that's hard. What you got, man? Uh, I'm just doing that. Uh, my top five favorite movies, uh, first one, 
I doubt it. It's gotta be the Medea movies. Uh, mm. Specifically, uh, it would have to be uh, Medea Goes to Jail. Mm. That was fucking hilarious. Yeah, that was funny, the whole movie. Uh, second, I'm gonna have to put Bad Boys 2. Love that one. Uh, third, I'm gonna have to say. Shit, what's in here? Um, the uh, Spider Man, uh, the Amazing Spider Man, the first one. Uh, the one with Andrew Garfield. I love that one. I would debate on that one. What are you, what are you? Uh, number four, I'm gonna have to say, uh, Batman Begins with Christian Bale. And for the fifth one, I'm gonna have to say, the first Thor movie. The first what? The first, uh, Thor movie. Oh, the first Thor movie. Mmm. <clears throat> hey, look. Those, they say, those aren't bad pictures. I give them that, but they're not the best. Out of all the movies you've ever watched in your life, you're saying those are your top five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I like, Yeah, you there's, 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 there's a lot of movies out there. And like, look, I'm gonna say my list, and y'all gonna probably give me heat, right? Uh, Spider-Man movies, right? Tommy Marbury, he was a great Spider-Man. Tom Holland, he's, he's better than Andrew Garfield. Oh, no. Right, especially when they did the last movie. I liked how they combined them, right? But that's the only spark that Andrew Garfield ever gonna get. Oh, no one really, damn. No one really gave Andrew Garfield that much. Right, if y'all was to ask yourself, who was the better Spider-Man? Everyone's gonna either go, Toby or um, Tom Holland. Because, sorry to say, but did, <laughs> did Andrew Garfield save his girl in time? No. Anyways. Oh, shit. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, Peter ain't saved her in time in the comics either. I mean, her neck still got snapped. Oh, that sucks, that sucks, you know? <laughs> that one they had to give to Andrew Garfield. Cause no one liked him as a Spider-Man. That's why he didn't go past three. Anyways, or he didn't go past two. Mm -hmm. he didn't Damn! Go past two. Damn! 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 All right, look, I'm not trying to roll Spider-Man. Like I said, Spider-Man is <laughs> my favorite. Fast Spider-Man is my favorite character. But as a, as an Andrew Garfield, I know something was lacking on his end, you know. All right, another one, the Avengers series, the whole Avengers movies, and I know in the future they're gonna make that even better. So I'm definitely gonna go off with the Avengers movies. You even like Age of Ultron? No, I did. I like the whole, you know, when Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver came in, they did their thing. But they took Quicksilver. They hold Quicksilver in the movie. Yeah, they they did kill him too fast. I was like, oh, yeah, too that's fast. fucked up. They should. A little too fast. Just like they, oh, I can't spoil Ant Man, but they killed that one character that I was like, they could have kept him going. They could have kept that character going. Actually, Quicksilver is still kind of alive when you look at the X Men movies. That's a different universe. So. Yeah. All right, another one, the Bad Boy series. I don't. The third one wasn't as bad, but I know they're talking about the fourth one. How do y'all feel about that fourth one coming up? Mm. Same how I feel about. I Creed thought they were 3. joking about making a fourth one. <laughs> Creed three. You no, said the you said the Creed series. Nah, I'm gonna um, say Creed. I'm gonna say Bad Boys. I'm gonna say the Medea movies, and the only reason I'm gonna say all her movies is because yes, she makes them funny. Or she's a great character that he plays, Tyler Perry plays. But it's also always inspirational too. Like it always has quotes or has some like life lessons that, you know, of today's generation, you need to know these life lessons, you know, type thing. So that's why I love media movies. Cause you always need them elders to always teach you something wise. And then y'all gonna give me heat for this one. But I say the Transformers. Mm, which one? Which one? one? Which one? Which one? Which one? The first one was good. Yeah. The second one was good. Yeah. I didn't watch the third one. <laughs> the oh, shame one. on you. <laughs> the fourth one. We the fourth one was, down, down, down. I don't know. I didn't really. I don't really hate any of them to be honest. I think they were all decent, except for Bumblebee. They kind of like when they try to do their own little spinoff. It's like I'm mm, try to stay yeah, with it. They but they, they got a new one coming out, Rise of the Beast, and I hope that that's a good one. So, but I'm gonna give it to Transformers on that one. There's a lot of them though. There's a lot of good movies out there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. The Creed series, it's, a, it's another good one. You know, I'm pretty sure Creed 3 about to be, it's gonna be good, but I, it's definitely gonna be emotional because you gotta think, if it is family, 
you can't sit there and tell me family isn't always the one that knows your every move. Like, that's how I always tell some people, like, or I tell myself, in the military, no one can really break me down. The only people who really can is if you have family in there and they know all your secrets. That's where you go. Yeah, okay, now I'm gonna break down because you're the only person that knows everything about me. But, let's hear you, Mr. Jones. Definitely get the Madea series. Definitely the Bad Boys. Mm. It's difficult, you know, because I like watching I like watching horror scare movies, you know. Like, you know, Scream, the Scream series was it was it was it was good. And the new Scream's coming out. There's, and, a, lot of, there's a lot of good movies out there. And I heard that in a new Scream, Scream is gonna pick up weapons, like pistols. And be busting that, folks. So that I'm excited for that. So I'll put yeah, that. Yeah, this one's a different screen. They try to make it, but that's the thing is they they go to make all these scary movies, and then they try to amp them up or remake them. Like, which I think of the last Michael Myers movie, to the last Jeepers Creepers movie, mm -hmm. to the last you know they're trying to remake Jason uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Like. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's it's in the works. Halloween's end, Halloween ends was trash. <laughs> that shit was trash. It really was like all this time did they made him so strong in all these movies, and then the very ending of it is just like he was about to possess his power to someone else. Like, how did y'all switch it up at the last second? And then y'all killed him so easily. How he died? Like, what? Wait, how did he die? It was it was pretty pathetic. Like it was him versus the old lady. That's well, basically the I guess her and him's been on each other so long, and like he almost kills her, but then she gets her revenge and kills him by stabbing him. But she just basically pins him to the table, and then just finally like stabs him in the head. I forgot how he died. I know he died because I forgot. I remember the daughter came in and helped, and then after that the way they just went, everybody just did that whole like big storm and parade and then they finally ended him by throwing him in a grinder and saying no more Michael Myers no more like so they threw him into a grinder yeah to end him officially why not just throw him in a fire why why fucking grinder with the making hamburgers well <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna try to rebring this series they, they burned him up in like the 2018 one and then he came back so uh, like, yeah they did try to they did try to burn him up that I remember when they did the, when they started remaking it again, it was just Halloween. They tried to burn him, and then he came back. The second one was better, as in how he came out stronger. And like it was a little better, especially at the end of the second one. Like he was getting jumped, and everybody was like, oh, "He's about to die." And then he came back and was stabbing everybody. He was like, "Y'all right, jumped me for no reason. Y'all waste all your time." So I get it at the end of the third why they kind of did like that, but they could have did a little better. Cause it was like. You telling me you couldn't have just grinded his ass up in the beginning of the Halloween movie? Like Scream, I don't think it's bad. You know, I think the the original ones aren't as scary. Like now they're trying to yeah, make it, but with comedy yeah. I'm scared that's why they they be remaking movies, scary movies, scary movie too. Because you know half them characters really they be left. funny as hell. Just like remember with the when Buddy in the wheelchair when they was playing basketball and it was. <laughs> 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 This shit was funny as hell, man. They really made a whole beat out of that thing, too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, though. I just told him on that nice beat. If I could listen, I'd be like, this is the best Scary part of that movie. movie. Series, I definitely would put that in my top top five. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot, you know? You got movies. I love, I love I'm a big Star Wars fan. You know? Star Wars is really good. You, Disney made a lot of good movies, too, though. Um, Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. Uh, what's the what's that one with the robot? Wally. Wally. I was thinking about robots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you said the one with the robots. Robots. I mean, there's a lot of good movies. Disney, like everyone has good movies. So to sit there and say, what is your top five? Like after this video, after this whole podcast, y'all can put on the comments, what is your top five of all the subjects we talked about and this and that, right? Because I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the end. And I just have one last thing. I already told y'all my news, you know. In May, I will start dropping videos because I'm going to be on spring break from March to April. And there's a lot of videos I plan on doing from WrestleMania to the highlights and stuff to hopefully what us meeting the superstars now to me dropping a video on 
the Reptile Expo, where I plan on holding these reptiles and this and that. So, you know, if y'all are, are afraid of some reptiles, I get it. But there's other videos I plan on dropping, like a, num a number two podcast, you know. If I can get these guests to answer me back. Anyways, but yeah. So, but y'all have anything to say before we end this podcast? Hey, man, y'all go ahead and show y'all support, man. It's been your boy, Odie Fashai, you know, and Sir William Hill, you know. Show support to the boy Hank. He has a, a beauty supply uh, collection coming up soon. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> no, I don't. Man, we always love to have laughs, right? Shout Let's out the man to man yes. yes. behind the camera, man. Shout out boy Hindi. Playing all the nice music in the background if you heard him. You know, he is an artist. If you don't know, check that boy out. But with that being said, 